UM71 is a remote feed jointless audio frequency track circuit. It is designed as a track detection system by Ansaldo Signal US and S. Terminology ACI Air Core Inductor TMU Tuning Matching Unit VLF Very Low Frequency KEM Output Turns Ratio of Transmitter Output Transformer KRV Input Turns Ratio of Receiver Input Transformer KMU Turns Ratio of Transformer of Matching Unit UAL DC Supply Voltage Value UTR AC Voltage Value of Transmitter UVR Track Voltage at Receiver End UVT Track Voltage at Transmitter End UV1V2 Input Voltage to Receiver R1R2 Output of Receiver after KRV Adjustment UM71 is available in basically two configurations end transmission intermediate transmission the main difference between the two configuration is the feeding arrangement this system includes the transmitter lightning discharge transmitting end cables tuning unit at transmitting end bonds on rail Tuning unit at receiving end, receiving end cables, receiver, track detection relay. Main features UM71 Non-coded audio frequency track circuit Minimum blast resistance equal to 2 ohm per kilometer train shunt resistance equal to 0.5 ohm outside the tuning zone train shunt resistance equal to 0.15 ohm inside the tuning zone power consumption equal to 50 to 140 volt ampere rail types equal to 90 pound 52 kilogram 60 kilogram one transmitter can coupled with maximum two receivers remote feeding is equal to maximum 1000 meter cables for feed in and feed out quad cable 0 0.9 millimeter diameter copper conductor as per specification IRS TC 30 oblique 96 basic carrier frequencies are grouped in two pairs V and F1 is equal to 1700 Hertz V1 F2 2300 Hz V2 F1 2000 Hertz V2 F2 2600 Hz End transmission Minimum length of track circuit equal to 100 meter Maximum length of track circuit equal to 800 meter Intermediate transmission Minimum length of track circuit equal to 2 into 50 meter Maximum length of track circuit equal to 2 into 800 meter transmitter board the transmitter consists of the following circuits a stabilized power supply an oscillator an amplifier a frequency divider a current regulator output transformer parts of transmitter stabilized power supply voltage regulator as the power supply voltage may vary between 22.5 volt and 28.8 volt it is stepped down to a stable value by means of Zener diodes. This voltage adjusted at 18 volt allow the oscillator to give a constant output voltage independent from the general 24 volt power supply variations. Oscillator 4F not basic frequencies 1700 Hz, 2000 Hz, 2300 Hz, 2600 Hz. To provide protection against the various non-suitable signals from the track 50 Hz traction current harmonics currents output by chopper equipped locomotives. The F not basic frequency is encoded by shifting. Shifting consists in switching two frequencies with a modulation depth. A delta F 
equal to 11 hertz that is f not plus delta f and f not minus delta f the lc type oscillator is used to generate the following frequencies f not plus delta f and f not minus delta f tuning at f not plus delta f is provided by two capacitors in series f not minus delta f is obtained by shorting capacitor cy the transmitter must be shifted by a basic frequency known as VLF very low frequency frequency divider shorting of capacitor CY controls F minus Delta F and F plus Delta F the basic frequency is thus modulated at a rate equal to basic frequency by 128 F not equal to 1700 Hertz modulated at 13.3 Hertz F not equal to 2000 Hertz modulated at 15.6 Hertz F not equal to 2300 Hertz modulated at 18 Hertz F not 2600 Hertz modulated at 20.3 Hertz division by 1 to 8 is provided by a CMOS logic circuit CMOS logic circuit output controls shorting of capacitor CY jumper set between terminals M1 and M3 self modulated mode amplifier the signal from the oscillator is current amplified this gives stable output current regulator the signal from the transmitter is output at two possible power levels 10 watt approximately at low power LP 20 watt at high power HP with jumpers set across terminals M2, M4, M5 output transformer KEM the available voltage is a function of the winding ratio KEM which can be varied from 0.25 to 7.75 in 0.25 steps the maximum level is 46.5 volt approx this AC voltage is sent to TU through quad cable receiver board the receiver consists of the following functional circuits an input transformer for adjustment of the KRE receiver adjustment a bandpass carrier filter used for signal suppression a trigger providing the threshold function a demodulator used to search for the modulation VLF signal a VLF amplifier a VLF rectifier and filter circuit a delayed threshold oscillator which transforms the VLF energy into a 15 kilohertz signal and also provides the relay pickup time delay function an amplifier which delivers the power necessary to energize 24 volt 250 ohm mass relay receiver cards working matching the matching function is achieved by an input transformer KRV which provides galvanic insulation between the signal from the outsides and the receiver internal electronics a low primary impedance V1 V2 providing protection against faulty signals in the event of failure and earthing of the cable wire level adjustment by means of secondary winding taps 73 possible ratios career signal filtering the LC type input filter comes in the form of a half T cell with two branches one series LC branch and one parallel LC branch the input filter is an analog bandpass filter tuned at one of the four input signal F not frequencies 1700 Hz, 2000 Hz, 2300 Hz or 2600 Hz. This filter has a pass band of plus or minus 40 Hz. The filter selects the signals which corresponds to its tune frequency and thus suppresses the other signals that may be present on the track. A diode circuit located at the filter input is used to clip the traction current related pulses from the track thus avoiding unwanted dropping of the track relay career controlled threshold the signal selected by the input filter is pre-amplified by an emitter follower transistor stage 
the stage has very high input impedance and thus prevents the trigger from loading the input filter parallel branch. The matched signal is transmitted to a circuit consisting of two transistor stages known as Schmidt trigger which determines the track relay pickup and dropout thresholds independently from the power supply voltage. Demodulation The purpose of demodulation is to transform the frequency modulation into amplitude modulation. The principle consists in sending the carrier signal at a constant energy level into a trap circuit tuned at a higher frequency F0. The demodulator consists of a transistor stage whose collector is loaded by RLC type trap circuit and the inductance is provided transformer primary winding. As the trap circuit is tuned at frequency F0, any frequency variation on either side of F0 results in an amplitude variation of the signal at the shift frequency. The carrier current is constant. VLF signal processing. Modulated signal from the demodulator are amplified. After amplification, the VLF signal rectified by a diode bridge is filtered by an RLC type. The voltage at the filtering capacitor terminals is between 9 and 14 volt. Threshold and time delay oscillator. The obtained filter DC voltage is feed to oscillator which delivers a 15 Hz approximately sinusoidal signal. Pickup time delay is provided by linking terminals C and C1 T equal to 500 millisecond or C and C2 T equal to 2.3 seconds of the oscillator stage. This time delay prevents energization of the track relay in the event of a short duration shunting loss. Output trigger. The sinusoidal signal from the oscillator is level controlled by a Smith trigger. The amplitude of the signal output by the oscillator depends on the DC power supply voltage. A 15 kHz square signal will only be sent to the output amplifier when the oscillator power supply is 8 volt. Relay amplifier. The purpose of the output amplifier is to deliver a power sufficient to energize the relay as soon as the signal from the 15 kHz oscillator passes the trigger threshold. After rectification and filtering, a transformer provides the energy necessary to energize a track relay 24 volt, 250 ohms. It also provides galvanic insulation from the outside. Power supply unit consists of input 110 volt AC plus or minus 25 percentages, output 24 volt DC plus or minus 1 volt, one LED indication for output, switch for input, PSU to TX and RX, 1 millimeter square flexible copper cable, 3 ampere input fuse. Tuning unit. There are two types of tuning units. Tuning unit F1, V1 or V2. This consists of a LC series circuit tuned at a frequency close to F2. Its characteristics are capacitive impedance at frequency F1, low capacitive impedance at frequency F2. Tuning unit F2, V1 or V2. This consists of a LC series circuit tuned at a frequency close to F1, mounted in parallel with a high value capacitor. Its characteristics are low capacitive impedance at frequency F1 with the parallel capacitor shorted by the series branch tuned at F1. Capacitive impedance at F2 resulting from the tuning of the three components. As frequency F2 is higher than frequency F1, the inductive series tuning is masked by the parallel capacitor. There is one tuning unit per track circuit frequency. For track 1 frequency pair, V1 F1 TU for 1700 Hz, 2 V1 F2 TU for 2300 Hz. 
for track 2 frequency pair, 3 V2F1TU for 2000 Hz, 4 V2F2TU for 2600 Hz. For track 1 frequency pair, V1F1TU exhibiting a 0 at 2300 Hz and a pole at 1700 Hz. V1F2TU exhibiting a 0 at 1700 Hz and a pole at 2300 Hz. For track 2 frequency pair, a V2F1TU exhibiting a 0 at 2600 Hz and a pole at 2000 Hz. A V2F2TU exhibiting a 0 at 2000 Hz and a pole at 2600 Hz. The 0 defines the frequency at which the TU impedance is minimum. The pole defines the frequency at which the TU impedance is high. Connections in TXTU From transmitter quad connection is connected to TXTU at terminals E1 and E2. No any other connection, no adjustment. Connections in RXTU RXTU adjustment Table for receiver connection ratio Cable used in between RXTU and receiver is quad cable. Bonds Air core inductor Resonated impedance bonds Initial capacitor settings WB and S2000 are oblique AF. This table gives initial values to which a WB and S2000 R oblique AF resonated impedance bond should be preset to ensure operation of the track circuit when initially powered up. The final resonation of the bond should be done as part of the final adjustment of the track circuit. Track frequency capacitor in nanofarad for 1700 Hz 26.8 nanofarad for 2000 Hz 22.5 nanofarad for 2300 Hz 20.0 nanofarad for 2600 Hz 17.8 nanofarad O bond it is air core inductor used in installation in IRPMU project for tuning zone alpha bond Implementation of alpha bond is solely based on the track circuit plans, return current parameters and design requirements. However, it is not a mandatory device. Installation Indoor Equipments Rack Transmitters, Receivers and Relays Each assembly is fitted with two or four attaching lugs one support plate, locking cam and coding pins to prevent installation or replacement of given equipment by a different type. Supporting plate. Each support plate consists two large openings to accommodate PFC12 or PFC0 connectors or PFO blanking connectors. Two slots to accommodate the equipment attaching lugs transmitter, receiver and relay. One opening for the locking cam. Eight notches for coding. Connectors PFC. The fixed part of a PFC connector occupies one of the large openings in the support plate. It consists of an insulating material base equipped with 12 contact spring blades. Each blade can accommodate at the rear end two miniature fasten female clips. Up to 24 miniature fasten clips can be installed on a PFC connector. Transmitter wiring Receiver wiring Track relay NS1 type relay 24 volt 250 ohms QN1 relay L plus and L minus of receiver equal to output for TR Voltage on relay when TSR is not connected equal to 24 volt DC. Voltage on relay when TSR is connected equal to 0 volt DC. Pickup time delay is provided by linking terminals on receiver C and C1 T1 
T equal to 500 milliseconds or C and C2 T equal to 2.3 seconds of the oscillator stage. Tuning Units For installation of tuning unit follow SEM para 17.5 from TU unit to rail connection cable. Size 120 mm square multi strand aluminium cable. 13 mm crimp lug in tuning unit. 16 mm crimp lug on rail connections. Earth connection in tuning unit shall be done as per OEM manual. Cable termination. 1 mm square flexible multi strand wire PVC insulated for internal wiring on rack and PFC connector. 0 0.9 mm diameter quad cable in between transmitter, receiver and tuning units. The following arrangements within one same cable are prohibited. One transmission and one reception with the same frequency. Two transmissions or two receptions with the same frequency. Maintenance Fail safe adjustment Proper capacity fuses as per OEM A reception level KRV implemented by external links on the receiver The maximum power level output by the transmitter Low power 10 watt no jumper fitted High power 20 watt This setting is implemented by external jumpers between terminals M2 and M4 M2 and M5 of the transmitter. Adjustment of gain in receiver when the ballast condition is high. Adjustment should be as stable given by OEM. After adjustment, TSR test is compulsory. Parameters As per performer given by OEM, record the readings. Transmitter output from relay room equal to 25 volt AC to 50 volt AC. Input to TXTU, 25 volt AC to 50 volt AC. Output of TXTU equal to 1 volt AC to 5 volt AC. Across the track at TX end, 1 volt AC to 5 volt AC. Across the track at RX end, 0.2 volt AC to 0.8 volt AC. Input to RXTU, 0.2V AC to 0.8V AC. Output of RXTU equal to 0.2V AC to 3V AC. In relay room, equal to 0.2V AC to 3V AC. Voltage on relay when TSR is not connected, equal to 24V DC. Voltage on relay when TSR is connected, equal to 0V DC. Do's and don'ts. Do's. When wiring and installing the track circuits, circuit pairing should be observed in the line cables. Each transmission or reception circuit shall use conductors from one same pair. Incorrect circuit pairing results in cable transmission parameters being changed and may induce significant crosstalk in adjacent circuits. The connector blades of PFC shall be protected by a plastic cover. Clip fitting shall be performed carefully using a special miniature fasten clip fitting tool. Strip the electrical wire over 5 mm plus or minus 0.5 using wire strippers so as not to damage the conductor strands. Crimp the fasten lug and fitting using the crimping tool. A mechanical coding device specific to each type of modular equipment prevents any incorrect equipment positioning on the support plate. The coding holes not receiving the equipment pins shall be blanked by coding plugs. Use the standard actuation key during installation of transmitter and receiver. Don'ts Don't run transmission and reception with the same frequency within a same cable. OEM don't permit junction of two transmissions on a single ESJ. Don't run the cables connected to TU unit and rail in zigzag manner. Don't install or remove transmitter or receiver in power supply on position. 
Don't disturb setting of track circuit in case of failure. Apply correct procedure. Failures ACI used is not able to balance current between two rails. Power supply unit gets heated and damaged. Due to interference from walkie-talkie sets, this track circuits are failing. Use of copper lug to wire between track and tuning unit is also causing problems. Others As per letter number 2007, oblique signal, oblique W, oblique 5, oblique 1, AFTC dated 26-7-2007, UM71 is not recommended for point and crossing. UM71 is not recommended for more than two parallel lines. Also modifications are required for lightning protection at various stages.